She said she got it at a church sale for two dollars. Took a best offer of two seventy five. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I am going to share with you Bolo Buddies, Facebook members, big money bolos. So basically, what I did is I shared this post in the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is pinned at the top under the announcement section, and you can all go share your big money bolo, and I'll feature it in a video just like this. So I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And when you guys are out looking for bolos, sourcing for items to resell, look for these items. So here is the first one, and this one was sold by Picker Money Flipper. Um, she is on eBay and YouTube. Definitely check her out. And if you guys share a bolo, be sure to shout out if you're on YouTube or whatnot or what other platforms you sell on, okay? Just put that in the comment and I'll shout it out in the video. So they got this at a yard sale for 25 cents and sold it for 300. It's 14 karat gold, 14 karat gold for 25 cents. It's a gold enamel, Merry Christmas, snowman, gemstone, women's charm. Let's see where it's marked. Is it marked? Or did they just test it? Oh my goodness, it's right there. It's right there. Hello. <laughs> 25 cents. I bet when they saw that, they were like, are you kidding me right now? Wow, that is fabulous. 25 cents into 300. All right, let's look at the next one here. Uh, Grateful Dead, vintage, 1996, Phoenix double-sided graphic tie-dye shirt, size large. Found at the Goodwill for $4.99, listed for $2.50, $250. Buyer messaged me, ended up take, um, ended up buying it quickly for $125. The Grateful Dead shirt was the tour after Jerry Garcia died. Does not have anything on the shirt stating Grateful Dead. Went with my gut and did more research once I got home. Double-sided graphics on the shirt. Huh, interesting. There's this information, but that's it. $125. There you go. There you go. All right. This one says, got this um, Atari Jaguar game console and some games for free from a lady who was cleaning out her garage. The Jaguar is a rare system that was only made for a few years. Have you ever heard of it? I have not. Definitely a bolo. This game is one of the most desirable. I sold it for my full asking price of $329.93 after about two months. I had quite a few offers in the $100 range, but held out. Thanks, Courtney, for your great videos and awesome Facebook group. Oh, thank you, Dog Patch Picker. Thank you for sharing because I have never heard of this. Wow. So it's Atari. And there it is. Three hundred and twenty nine ninety three, and got it for free. What? All right. This one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty. And if you're not following her on whatnot, you got to go follow her. This woman sources some of the most amazing vintage jewelry I have ever seen. Wow. So check her out. She usually starts things at five dollars, and she is sharing her goodies with you guys. Let me just tell you that. So that is Cat Feel and Thrifty on Whatnot. She's also on eBay. And if you use my referral link down below, you can get $15 to shop when you join Whatnot. So that is for new users only. So check it out. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, I've got some tutorial videos. I'll link them down in the description. And I also have a seller's referral link. If you guys want to go through that, it will let Whatnot know that I sent you. So check that out. But Cat sold these on eBay. She said, I picked these adorable salt and pepper shakers up at an estate sale about six months ago. I believe I paid $8 for them. They sat for a while, but sold for full asking price of 75 plus shipping. Yes, fragile to pack, but the cardboard, cardboard rolls your packing tape is on and bubble wrap come in is so handy for items like this. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. Yes, I use American Bubble Boy and I know Kat does also. And the tubes in the middle are great, 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 great to... um bubble wrap items and then put them inside those tubes. It really protects the items. I did a short video on it and I think I've also included it in some of my tricks and tips videos. Um, so check that out, but definitely consider American Bubble Boy referral link down below. Check it out if you guys need bubble wrap. Um, 
that is who I use. And they are ballerinas, Japan ballerina, angel girl, salt, pepper shakers, vintage set numbered. Look how adorable these are. Cuteness. All right. This one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty also. This beauty was in a bag of jewelry purchased locally from an auction, paid $25 for the entire large bag. This 14 karat ruby heart necklace was in it along with a few other nice goodies, sold overnight for listing, listed for $155, took a best offer of $130 plus shipping. There you go. Sometimes you find treasures. Sometimes you find treasures. Sometimes they're marked and sometimes they're not. The next one is this vintage Frank Oma pottery pig planter signed bowl, green bowl, satin. She said, here, piggy, piggy. This one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty also. Pick this Frank Oma pig pottery planter up at a yard sale last summer for three. It was in the money pile and finally listed it recently and sold within a few days with many watchers for full list price of 35 plus shipping. As always, Courtney, you rock and thanks for all your support. Oh, thanks, Kat. I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing. Okay, the next one is, oh, let's look at the bottom of this and see. There it is. There's your mark. This one is not a big money bolo, but this one is one that you would walk past every day. And I tell you guys, the bread and butter, the bread and butter, the bread and butter. It brings people into your store. It pays your mortgage. It pays your electric bill. It keeps your store flowing. Those big, big money bolos are amazing, but sometimes you got to pay more for those items. And sometimes they are harder to find. So I believe in keeping your store stocked with bread and butter. And this is a bread and butter that I probably would have walked past. It is the Wisconsin Central Volume 3 Central Lines Pleats, Pleats Express Train DVD. Yeah, would have walked past it. My Bolo contribution for right now is DVDs or Blu-ray discs. I picked up a dozen different DVDs from this particular brand of DVD at a church sale for 25 cents a piece. Easy and fast to list and ship and makes these perfect to feed the eBay beast. These are DVDs showing trains and train lines. And I just sold my last one today. I have a massive stack of roller coaster ones going up soon as well. I average a little over $10 profit per DVD and cost of goods and shipping on the train ones. And it took about six months to sell them all. Wish I could constantly stand around and turn 25 cents into 10 all day long with the amount of effort this type of item takes. Exactly. Easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find. Um, just like plush. I say that about plush all the time. Some of it's long tail, but it is so, it's usually inexpensive, easy to list, easy to ship. Gunther Rawl, my log book reminisc reminiscences, I can't say that word, <laughs> 1938 to 2006, signed HC autograph OOP. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? All right. Bought at a storage unit for the totes inside. Paid 60 for about 120 worth of totes. Was in need of the totes. And even if it was filled with junk, I was fine with that. The unit ended up being filled with books, magazines, and records. All pop culture, culture rock, model airplane, and World War II. This was the most expensive book in the unit. Also had another 150 just in books from this unit in addition to this book. So it looks like it sold for $399.99. Grateful Dead Vinyl Capital Theater, New Jersey, 52577 4LPLE box set sealed. Is it a record? Another find for my $60 storage unit that I bought for the totes. This is the most expensive record I sold from the unit. I have one other Grateful Dead record I need to get listed. I sold off most of the other records in bulk buy for 150 on Facebook Marketplace, as well as a sealed Aerosmith vinyl for 40. So this one sold for $245.99. Yep, it's a record. Lot of five dinner forks. Um, Flamby by Oneida, Oneida 1810 stainless steel glossy flatware. So I just actually listed um, a whole set of Oneida community flatware that my husband brought home. He's like, what do you think about this? I think he got it um, with some other stuff, online auction or something like that local. And so I was like, I don't know, I'll look it up. And I remember seeing this and I was like, well, you know, I know those stainless steel, some of them go for good money. And I listed it um, on auction pretty high. So we'll see how it goes. Um, just going to kind of wait to see, but there were, I think six or eight extra spoons. And I listed those separately, uh, mostly because 
I, I knew about this and I looked up comps and you can sell them in small sets like this. So she paid a dollar. She said, flatware is one of my favorite things. I picked this up at a thrift store for a dollar and sold for a full asking price in a couple weeks. This one comes from Childhood, Childhood Finds. She has an amazing YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. You will learn so much. She sold this for $49.95 and that's for five forks. Signed Bob Hoover Air Show Adjustable Hat Cap Pilot Aviation. She said, Bob Hoover is a big name in the aviation industry, so I knew I found a bit of a treasure with the signed hat. I paid a dollar at an estate sale and sold for full asking price in two weeks of $99.95. This comes from Thriftaholic. She said, I hope you can use the link to access my bolo. Yep, I did. She said, I purchased this Sid Dickens decorative tile in a Liberty Thrift for $12.50. This was half price because of sale color tag marked $24.99. Since it was marked so high, it prompted me to check comps. And I saw that this maker sells for upwards of 80 to 100. This particular tile was called Gothic Lace and part of a collection that hangs all together on your wall. Great opportunity for someone who is missing this tile. I listed on auction several times with no bites. So settle on buy it now for $2.99. Took a best offer of $200. Be on the lookout for Sid Dickens. Wow. And again, this is Thriftaholic. And it looks like that. Check that out, guys. What a great new bolo to add to your uh, search list, right? Would you have even looked twice at that? I don't know that I would have. So Thriftaholic125 on YouTube and Thriftaholic on eBay. This one is a Delivery Boy Man uh, number one. Is it a comic book? I think it's a comic book. Yes. Bought a box of 100 comics from an estate sale for $10, about a dime each. Sold this one for $113.55. This one comes from Thrifty Treasures. And she is on Whatnot also and has awesome jewelry. So make sure you follow her over there on Whatnot. And this is a bar lamp. Vintage 1993 David Cries Martini Olive Bar Lamp. 10-inch pop art. She said she got it at a church sale for $2. Took a best offer of $2.75. She is also on YouTube, so YouTube, whatnot, Thrifty Treasures, and of course, eBay as Thrifty Treasures. So she uh, specializes in jewelry. jewelry. <laughs> so if you want to learn about jewelry, definitely sub her up. Antique Limoges signed porcelain pitcher lemons hand-painted France lemonade. And you guys are all cheering for me because I said Limoges right, correct? Who... Woo hoo or woo wee. <laughs> she said it right. This picture taught me that all antique Limoges porcelain is not created equal. Items made by this company, JPL or Jean, oh boy, Poyat, are most valuable and in demand than other brands of Limoges. Thrifted in the past two years, paid four, sold within a week of listing for an offer of $85. And let's see what it looks like on the bottom. There it is. JPL there. Looky, looky. And you guys check out Edge City Traders also on Whatnot and eBay. And I just want to say thank you to all that shared your best April Bolo. I've got more videos coming like this. Come over to the Facebook group under the announcements section and share your best May Bolo. And I will feature it in a video just like this. I do have referral and affiliate links down in the um what do you call it? Description of the video. So those are items that I use for my business. I do receive a commission and it costs you nothing extra. So if any of those things appeal to you and you think you could use them for your business, definitely check them out. Most of them, you get something if you use the link. Um, I also have tutorials like of List Perfectly, Worth Point. Um, there's some whatnot tutorials of how to sell on whatnot that I've done. So check those out. And it basically just helps you understand how to use those products for your business or how maybe to branch out to a new platform. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you over on whatnot. <laughs> it's so much fun. You guys come hang out. We do live shows over there. Um, I sell auction style and I'm doing a lot of jewelry right now, but I think I'm going to be doing another Goodwill Benz, the lost footage because I found another tote. So I hope to see you guys at that. All right. See you soon. Thanks for watching.